What up, this is Patrick Hayes. And in this video, I wanna talk about how to turn annoyance into gratitude. And this is something I've been working on for a really, really long time. And it has turned out to be one of the most beneficial things that I've learned how to do. And I'm not perfect with it, but I'm getting better on a regular basis. And learning how to turn the things that annoy me, that irritate me into gratitude is one of the most powerful things that I've ever learned how to do in my entire life. So if you stick around to the end of this video, not only am I gonna explain the benefits that come from being able to turn things that irritate you into things that are, you're actually grateful for, but I'm going to actually share the overall frame of how on a deeper level, level, this is actually you becoming more of yourself. Stick around to the end and this is going to make sense in a whole new way. Now, the first thing that I wanna talk about is why it may even be attractive for you to consider the idea of starting to turn things that usually irritate you into things that you're grateful for. And there's a lot of different reasons, but I'm gonna start with two main reasons. And the first is just basic energy levels. If you're irritated by things all the time, things are irritating you, maybe it doesn't even need to be all the time, but if there's certain things that really irritate you, every time you encounter these things and you get into a state of irritation, you're draining your energy. All that energy that you spend being irritated or frustrated about whatever it is that irritates you is energy that is lost. It's energy that could be used for positive things in your life. It is energy that could be used to consider being grateful for things and then the gratitude actually will build more energy so in other words it's just basically it's a waste of energy to be upset and angry about things in life now the other thing is that every time you get irritated about something you're actually perpetuating that thing in your life so the more you walk around in an irritated vibration the more irritated you are going to be so the more different things that irritate you in the world the more those kinds of things will multiply for you. So in other words, you will create a life for you that sucks if you're getting irritated with a lot of different things. And your life sucks more with everything that you're irritated about. So if you can flip the irritation into gratitude, and you can do this because the truth of the matter is that deep down, the true you, the real you, if you get in touch with that, it will be grateful. And I'll explain this later on in the video as I move forward. But it's actually becoming more you. So when you become more of yourself and you stop being irritated by things, but you see it for what it really is, and then you use it for fuel to become grateful, then that actually starts shifting your reality. It starts shifting your experience of reality. And by shifting your experience of reality, it actually starts shifting your actual reality. So you can think of it like this. A shoe salesman sees everyone's shoes. A hairdresser sees everyone's hair. Whatever you're focusing on, you will see a lot of, right? If you ever thought about a new car, you've heard this before, right? So if you're focusing on the things that irritate you, right, then you're gonna see more things that irritate you. You're gonna get deeper into that and you only have so much attention that you can give to things. So it's going to condense your reality or it's gonna contract your reality into a particular perspective that is more limited and it's more restricted in your energy and it's going to drain your energy and so therefore you're going to miss other opportunities that would lead you onto a lifeline that is more in alignment with what you really want to experience so the benefit or one of the many benefits of overcoming irritation and transmuting it into gratitude is that you're giving yourself the opportunity to start living the kind of life that you want to live and you're boosting your energy levels to a much much higher expression. So now that we understand why it's beneficial to be grateful for things that we were previously irritated to, the question becomes, well, how do we do it? And it's a tricky thing because you can't do it. You can't fake it, right? This isn't something you can fake. You can't say, oh, well, I'm going to pretend that I'm grateful for something so that it can then shift my reality. and I don't have to deal with it anymore. Right? You can't say, I'm gonna pretend that this isn't bothering me or this isn't irritating me because by pretending, then like I'm tricking the system or something. It doesn't work like that because the truth of the matter is that deep down, if you're still irritated and you're just trying to repress that or suppress that, that it's not actually true. It, you're not actually in the vibration of what you're trying to be in. So you have to do it for real. But the good news is, is that at the core of who you are, being grateful is part of your nature, right? And this is the key. A lot of people don't realize this. A lot of people put too much importance on the idea of being grateful and having gratitude to the point where they're trying to force their self 
into doing it when it's actually not a forcing that you have to do. This is actually who you are at your core. You know, a great metaphor that I have for this is that you know what is you because it feels right. So imagine like a shoe. If you put on a shoe that's too small, it doesn't feel right, right? So because it, it doesn't fit. So it doesn't fit you. So that shoe is not in alignment with who you are, right? So an emotion that is not in alignment with who you are is irritation. When you're irritated, it doesn't feel good. And that's because you're out of alignment with your true nature. But when you're grateful for something, that feels amazing. So it shows you that it's in alignment with what you truly are. A great little understanding, a great little uh, like rule of thumb or way to bring you back to your center is to understand that. If something's feeling out of alignment, if you're irritated for something, you're actually, you're not in your true self. So it's not so much about changing yourself to be more grateful. It's about relaxing into your true self and realizing that your true nature is already grateful. So the good news is you don't have to fake it, right? The way that I like to look at reality is reality is like a hologra like a divine holographic design that's created for my own growth, right? It's here to show me who I am. It's here to help me or all of us in a kind of more individualized version discover who we truly are and be more of who we truly are, right? And it's a beautiful opportunity for to do that. So when I see all of the things in my reality, the things that irritate me, I see it from the perspective that this is actually here to show me how to be my true self. Because here's the thing, how can you truly, truly be yourself unless you are faced with the opportunity to be something other than yourself? Otherwise, there's no free will. All of the hardships, like all of the negative things, all the darkness in the world, this is the opportunity for us to step into our grander self. And if we didn't have these hurdles to jump over, if we didn't have to look at something that was really harsh or ugly and then choose that I'm going to respond with love, then we don't have the opportunity to actually grow in our own nature. Meaning our own nature is love. Our own nature is gratitude. And if we don't have something that's challenging to be grateful for, if we don't have something that's challenging to see the beauty in, then we wouldn't have the opportunity to become more of ourselves, become more grateful, and become more aware of beauty in the world and more beautiful in ourselves. So the idea is trust life. If you trust life, it will respond in a way that is trustworthy. And in fact, whatever you're doing, it's like a mirror. Whatever you're doing, you're going to get that response back in the mirror. There's just a delay between you know your vibration and the external 3D mirror that organizes itself to match that vibration. So the idea is trust life. It can be trusted. And when you do trust life and trust that every single thing is a design that's giving you an opportunity to become more of your greater self, then what happens is you start seeing things that were irritating, it's not that big of a deal. Actually, you look deeper into it and you say, oh, this is an opportunity for me to grow in my gratitude. This is an opportunity for me to grow in beauty, to grow in strength. And then you actually appreciate it. So when I see things in my reality that irritate me, and I'm not perfect with it, I still get irritated from time to time, but I've gotten really, really good at being able to twist it in my favor and seeing the beauty in it. and and kind of coaching myself through it in a sense that um, I have this aspect of myself that is grateful for it. And that aspect of myself can laugh a little bit at the part of me that's getting irritated. And just even having that awareness there makes the process so much smoother. But essentially what happens is things come up in my reality and they're irritating. And I realize that there's so many different things that are happening right here. If I can look at this thing that I'm experiencing as something that I'm grateful for, because I know the big picture, I know that this is actually here to help me see more of myself. It's for my own growth. And the true expression of who I am is to see the beauty in it. Something really, really magical happens. Something incredible happens when that God realized aspect of yourself, that part of you that knows that you are God, you're connected to God, you are a piece of God and the whole thing all in one. When that part of you, even if it's just intellectual, knows that there's God in everything and whatever the veil is, whatever the circumstantial uh, clothing is of the situation, if you can recognize the God in that situation or thing at the same time, then that God aspect of you recognizes the God aspect in whatever you're looking at and it creates a feedback loop of divinity. And something really, really powerful happens there, especially when it's something that upon first glance is hard to recognize the God within. But when you can recognize that, then not only are you calling forth the God in the other things that you're looking at, calling forth the divine in those other things, but you are amplifying the divinity within yourself. So 
you will notice that as you start doing this in your everyday life, that not only do you stop wasting negative energy by getting into a negative space, but you actually amplify your energy in a sacred way far beyond what you previously realized you could. So these things that irritate you are actually amazing opportunities for you to level up on a spiritual level, on an energetic level, and in your life, in your practical life, far beyond what you ever realized before. So I encourage you to take this information and go deeper with it. What I'll be doing in the future is I'll be making some videos that are more about the actual um, like hands-on approach. Like what do you do in that moment when you're looking at things and how do you work with the, with the mechanics of your body and your consciousness to do that. But this is more of like the framework of like the frame of how to perceive it and um, the perspective that can be really beneficial. So the idea is you can benefit your life tremendously energetically, spiritually, and circumstantially by appreciating things that you were previously irritated to. That's number one. Two, the good thing is you don't have to fake it because at your core, this is truly who you are, right? This universe, this world, you can interact with it in a way where it will reciprocate that it is a situation that is, is here to help you grow. It's here to help you find more of who you are and express more of who you are. So therefore, you can trust life. You can trust life. Whatever's showing up, it's in your greatest benefit. So trust that. And if you really step in to your life from that perspective, it will start rewarding you. It will start reciprocating that vibration. So trust life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Patrick Hayes. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. If this video is useful for you and you think there's somebody else that might find it useful too, please share it with them. So thanks so much for tuning in. One love and I will talk to you next time.